So happy Labor Day. I'm debating it. Really? Hold, no, no, hold on. You're, you're fine, okay? Me in a pudding. I forgot the corn, so it's in there getting ready to boil. And the barbecue over there. Good morning, guys. In my pajamas. I'm gonna start dinner. So happy Labor Day. Um, making cold pork. So I do it in the crock pot. I've got a loin roast that's leaking. Leak in a pot over here. Okay. Oh boy. And I got half of a loin. Nathan should be coming. I'm gonna call Evan. I don't know if he, if he knows. Try not to get it on my hands. <laughs> oh, I hate when she watches this show. There's, is there certain shows that your kids watch that are just so annoying? This is one. If you've been watching me, you know I put all my meat wrappers in the sink. Okay. Okay. So they don't stink up the trash. Okay. Ew. It's okay. It's just, it's going back in the pot. Got some really juices. So my base is ketchup. And since I've got a lot, I only need enough to cover both these roasts. Maybe about a cup and a half. Remind me to buy more ketchup. Okay, this is a half cup, third cup. So I'm gonna use about probably two thirds of brown sugar. Okay. I'm going to use a few tablespoons of vinegar. One, two, three, three. I'm going to use a little bit of chili powder. Remind me to buy more chili powder. Hmm? <clears throat> I said, remind me to buy more chili powder. Today? No. Okay. When we go shopping. Because I'm going to use the rest of this. And we need more ketchup. And I hate what she's watching. And it's so loud. Okay, I got a little bit of chipotle chili peppers. I'm just going to add a little bit. I'm gonna add a little Worcestershire. Just gravel. I need a little onion powder and garlic powder as well. Here's the onion powder. I'm just gonna use the rest of it. I should already have one of these, but what, baby? Are all the chips good? Oh, the garlic powder. 
Oh, we'll add the pepper. Finding the garlic powder the other Use some garlic salt. Don't really need the salt, but can't find the garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Why? Is it gonna be hot? No. You know what would have been good? I would add a little mustard on the belly to that. Mmm, then I might have something there. Pepper right. in? No, I gotta make sure I get it all over. Well, you must some on top of the spoon there. Can I? <laughs> it totally smells like barbecue sauce. Okay. I'm gonna get nice and. I wish you could do that. You can just take That's a lot, but it's okay because. We might have a lot of people. Yeah. Like Evan. Unless we mix it all in with the meat. Wait, it's good if we have a lot. Guess why? Why? Because Thomas is coming. Thomas is coming. It's been a long time since we saw Thomas, huh? Mm-hmm. And today is the right day for Thomas, right? Right. We're at the thrift store. The music's really loud. Look. It's cute. I'm debating it. Hey guys, I'm gonna make my potato salad. I've made it plenty of times. I don't know if I made it on this channel, probably. Yeah, I think I made it for the 4th of July on this channel. My husband's vacuuming. The ingredients I put in my potato salad is celery, radishes, green onions, pickles, Sweet relish, mayonnaise, potatoes, and the eggs. So, and these were free. <laughs> so, the other day I mentioned, sorry, it's loud, guys. The other day I mentioned that my husband um, brought some veggies home from work. A lady that works there, her mother works at the Dollar General that has produce. And so sometimes they get too much produce and they can't sell it all. I'm going to put these in here, give her a good chop in. I feel like radishes is the one thing that I kind of want finely chopped up. And everybody loves my potato salad, so it's uh, potato salad my mom's been making for years and years, and everybody has loved her potato salad. <laughs> All my kids love this potato salad. And I think the only one that doesn't is Evan. He loves everything else I make. But the girls love it, which they don't love everything I make, so.
need a horse. See, I've used everything you brought home. Are you proud of me? Yes. It was all free. It was all free. I used the carrots. I used the carrots uh, last night and the beans. Um, and I'm using the radishes and we had the squash and the zucchini the other day. We didn't let none of it go to waste.
look who we got with us. Come here. You got Willie. Hold, no, no, hold on. You're you're fine, okay? You're fine. Yeah. So Willie, Journey called me out. She said Willie's not walking, and when I got him to walk, he was limping. So falling up a tub, I'm gonna soak his foot. But we don't have any Epsom salt. I'm just gonna soak it in some warm water and see what happens. Banana pudding. I forgot the corn, so it's in there getting ready to boil. And the barbecue over there. Yeah. High five. Yay! Say double fives. Can you give me high fives? Yay! <gasps> what are you doing? <gasps> you want some cake? Hi guys, so it is much later now. It is almost midnight. I'm downstairs. I got two embroider out. There's actually two other ones I need to embroider out, but I don't have the shirts. I don't know what happened. Um, this one order in particular, they had me bump, like she was going to be out of town, like her ship date was like last Friday and had me bump her uh, ship date till tomorrow. She don't need it until October. Okay. But I had to have ordered the shirt. I know I did. But I'm like, did I use it? Did I? What I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking, is that because I had bumped her order so it's supposed to ship like last at this past Friday, the Friday before. So I might have had her shirt and then um, got a new order in and used it for that one and not ordered another one. I'm thinking that's what happened. So now I feel bad because I have to order it tomorrow and it won't come in until Thursday because tomorrow is Tuesday because today is Labor Day. Anyway. anyway, Thomas was here, my grandson. Um, I try not to film too much when they are here just you know privacy reasons and so yeah he's just he's just so adorable um but yeah we had a good dinner and you know hung out for a, a while and um now I, I gotta finish working so i'm gonna finish this one shirt and that's it um but i never did update you guys um on yesterday I said, you know, I was having an allergic reaction before we went to church. Um, so, I woke up and was going to get ready for church. And my husband was, he was like, I'm going to go get us a coffee at McDonald's. Because we like their iced coffee. And so, I'm like, okay. And so, I sat down at my computer. And, you know, I was going to wait to get in the shower. And I noticed, like, on my leg, it was itchy. And so I was like scratching it and I was like, I got a mosquito bite. And then a little while later, you know, I'm just, you know, didn't think no more. And then I'm like, oh man, I got another mosquito bite. Man, what the heck? How, you know, this early in the morning where the mosquitoes coming from? I didn't even know we had mosquitoes in the house. And, you know, and then I was like, this happened before. I'm breaking out in hives and I'm like why why am I breaking out in hives and so I I didn't know how bad it was going to get because like you know the last time it happened you know my face I swelled up and you know ended up in the ER and that whole you know I didn't want that to happen and so um, I continue to have them pop up I also have like the ones that did pop up like they haven't gone away fully they look like mosquito bites it's not gonna show but there's one on my arm and there's I got more I've like clawed myself because they've itched so bad I got them on my legs and when I just went upstairs like I got one on my finger um, it's like like they come up 
when they come up on like my hands and stuff. I've had them on the palms of my hands too, but it's like comes up like looking like a white whelp is what it looks like. There was like two of them or three, I don't even know. There's still one there. Uh, let me see if I can. Let's see if we can get it to show up on the camera is the question. I don't know if you guys can see. It's up here. It's really itchy. <laughs> but it's like right up here. <laughs> so itchy right now. Um, and yeah, these rings are not coming off because it's swollen. But I'm like, what? What in the world? So we were trying to think because you know, this has happened before. It's not new. Um, I'm like, like, what have I done? What have I done? I don't know. And uh, I was referred to an allergist twice to an allergist, and they just dismissed me. They just said the doctor reviewed the same thing with Journey. Um, no, not Journey. Was it Journey? Yeah, I want to say it was Journey. I don't even know, you guys. It's like, so Journey, um, yeah, I'm just breaking it up. <laughs> this is so itchy. Journey uh, uh, is uh, allergic to, I have no idea. And she breaks out in hives and has ever since she was little and they're just like oh she's having an allergic reaction to something and yeah anyway so apparently we can't get into an allergist I have an EpiPen um, but you know I'm not at that this has been going on for two days now that I'm just randomly but I'm like what I the only thing I can think of because we were like I don't know what it can be besides we had a pineapple banana pineapple milkshake Saturday night and I've had it before and I'm like then I was almost like did we have a banana pineapple milkshake the day before I broke out in hives last time I don't know like is it pineapple mm. yeah, sorry, I gotta get to work Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye guys.